Oh man, what a chore setting this up, dude. But of They're, course, this one's the one that drives everybody crazy, right? I mean, the, that's that's the Vern Langdon zombie. You I know, just... in the hobby, it's the only known copy. You know, there, maybe there's one out there in the world that we don't know of, but that's the only original known, wow. original paint, original hair. There's another one that's completely restored. Paint, oh, so there's nothing left. Paint, but hair, but all original. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I made the mask in 1972. Uh, Warren Publishing put it on the cover of the Creepy Annual for 72. And there's this great photo. It's a very iconic image that all monster kids pretty much know. And Vern only made about 22 copies back then. And there was, there was another additional 12 after that, I think. But they advertised the heck out of that mask. Yeah, it was and in a magazine. You, you could not get that mask. The reactions from the show so far have been amazing. Yeah. Tom Savini was here this morning, oh, yeah. just loving it. Yeah, I love it that Tom's a true fan. I was telling about certain pieces, and he actually worked on these uh, Day of the Dead uh, stunt masks. Those were on, on set masks. Rotted Corpse 1, 2, 3, the first three. The reason I love it is seeing it in the old Fangoria ads. Right. You know, things like, that's what I love about these old Distortions masks. It's just that connection to my childhood, my favorite magazine. I wanted these so bad back yeah, then. Yeah, this it went along. This Snow Beast. Oh, is that what that's called? Oh, I'm just so. kidding. <laughs> Yeah. This is another one that guys just go nuts over yes. trying to obtain. Uh, now, Marcia used to hair these. Yeah, we had I a did. giant I could have um, heard that. table. It was probably a 10-foot table, yeah. and it was on a Lazy Susan, and you could spin it, and it had heads all around, and she'd get on there. Slap her hair out. Oh, yeah. I have another distortions piece I would like to show you. Oh, yeah. Those are both from Tom Savini. Well, the, his or, sculptures, I mean, yeah, and sculptures. then we got the, the rights to they're, manufacture them. Beautiful examples, though. Like I don't think there's a better fluffy out there. Everyone says that this is the most pristine example of this. It's a really rare mask now. Um, yeah. There's probably a handful known in the hobby. Well, you know, the detail about, on that is awesome. What yeah. I love about your version is this this coloring. You know, this strange silvery blue color right. that you chose. And this is probably one of my top favorite films of all time, Creep Show. Yeah, this that was a very such a special movie. Yeah. So having these in my collection is incredible. Oh, there's some Jordu shell original oh, originals, you know. One really rare mask in this case here is an yeah. old House of Horrors one that uh, I think most people probably never even saw this before, but that's an old Joe Reader. That's good. Joe Reader. He, 1886 or 1988, I think he made this, but really neat, you know. Neat alien. From the old Frankenstein collection, but just, a, just an odd alien, you know. Uh, yep, that's a fully restored original. You know, I bought one of those in San Francisco. I was visiting Did you? my sister, and it was in a shop, and I just had to have it. That was such, such a, a clever concept. And it's so unique because of these. Work. Uh, Rob Tharp gave it the paint job, uh, Kathy did the eyes, uh, and then good old Dante Renta foam filled it. Yeah. So.
others too, but this this one is so cool. Oh yes, yes. This, yes. Death Studios, right? This this predates Death Studios. This is the original by Kirk Brady. Oh, that's right. Belial by Kirk Brady. Oh, oh, by Kirk Brady, and uh, it it's just incredible. You know the original. Uh, it's massive too. Nice size, but beautiful that, copy. Yes. And do you have his alien? I got the ultimate alien. Yes, ultimate and I've got alien. sets of hands for him and the alien both. So it's silly to ask, do you have it? So how many <laughs> masks you figure you got? <laughs> Probably at least a few hundred or so. I brought about sixty here, so you imagine a lot more. <laughs> you, when you first collected, started collecting, like your very first mask. Very first mask, you know, as a little kid, I was wearing all the little Ben Cooper plastic masks. Yeah, yeah. And that. I really loved Halloween. Halloween was a different thing in the 80s and oh, not, you know, it's it's changed now. And, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it was so important to me. You wait all all year, all month for that day, and, and you wear your costumes around school, yeah. and walk around the parade, and um, that love for Halloween gave me this love for masks. Wow. You know, it's like. When you're a kid, you can when you put those Dracula teeth in, put the cape on. Oh yeah. You're Dracula. Oh yeah. Like in your it's... mind, you put these monster masks on. I'm Frankenstein. Yes. Get out of my way. You know I'm a monster. Well, I was super shy, but when I got in a monkey makeup or something, man, yeah. I could come alive. I right. don't know what that was. So do you remember your first mask? You know what it was? Yeah. The first I had some ape masks and things, um, but my first. The one I really loved was a B Something Studios uh, seven, uh, late '70s Evil Unicorn with the horn that oh, comes wow. out. Oh wow, that's that, obscure. Still yeah, still have. I've got others. You know, they wow. made me a real custom one recently, a beautiful, oh, beautiful copy so for cool. me. The guys over there at, at Sagoni. Oh, Those yeah. guys are great. 